Hi, welcome. My name is Donald, and this is Mob TV. This is a very different topic altogether. It's about the sex for grade um, video that is going around the internet that is making with a documentary made by BBC in Africa. Sex for grades. University professors sexually harassing and blackmailing their students. Stop paying for it. Pay for it with, with our body. For more than a year, BBC Africa Eye has been investigating and secretly filming inside the region's most prestigious universities, the University of Lagos and the University of Ghana. How many guys have today? Uh, How many guys today? Nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to believe victim. It is crazy. I know a lot of people have been abused and nobody is trying to do anything. You know, probing into lecturers that are doing gears, <laughs> Zamuzai, you know, give me, give me your body and collect marks, you understand, these changes. <laughs> it is an old culture in Nigerian university, but people would play so damn adamant about it. People behave as though they are hearing it for the first time. It's never happened, it's never happened or it's not happening at all. And uh, but shocking enough, is making a waves right now. And a lot of journalists or investigative journalists in Nigeria, they've actually pointed out this stuff. They happening but nobody pays attention but because it's bbc almighty bbc they have come to show us <laughs> you know because in africa our brain is sealed but once a foreign man comes to open his mouth we we'll glorify and jump everybody is commenting as though we do not know that these things been happening in universities and um, they are now painting it <laughs> that the lecturers are the ones you know but this lecture upon him on of company face <laughs> Uncle Bonnie, you are, you are scattering body in your cushion in your office, scattering body for 70 year okay. Don't know that that girl was on camera. <laughs> that girl was on camera seeing you and showing you the world what you are doing. <laughs> you are scattering body, you know, you're manipulating a 70 year old girl who is old enough to be your daughter and the fact that you're also a pastor. You even pray before you start the whole thing. <laughs> Let us pray. Oh Lord, you want them to have to give a life to Christ before you do that. Oh, Kai Kole. Ah, God, you so far, though. Now, the thing is, a lot of people are responding to that video that is going viral, and don't just it, don't do it, you know. This guy never keeps quiet for things like this. He just came out to say that, yes, it is happening, it's true. But have you thought about the other side of the where the girls actually go to these lecturers to offer sex? Yes, to offer their body for max. That the girls will seduce these guys, do everything, lure them. But that they should make the narratives balanced. That it should not be one sided as though it's the lecturers that are only at fault. That the girls too, they are also guilty of this kind of a thing because when they go, they know that they didn't make it in the, um, their examination and they're not ready to repeat or rewrite it. But rather they go to blackmail, sorry, go to seduce this lecturer when he says no, and blackmail is after you, you know. And when a woman cries, oh Lord. Or Black, anything a woman says goes so long as he's connected to <laughs> Zamuzai, you know, chicken, chicken things. <laughs> Women, they will not kill us. So. And they want for the president, she has reacted and said that a lot of things about abuse is going on in Nigeria and is being swept under the carpet. Swept under, under the carpet. Why? Because it's becoming a culture here, but in our religious sectors, we can. <laughs> We could record the Levada 28th June, you know. Oh, oh, boo -boo. Busola came out and told us that Pastor Biodun, oh, ha! Pastor Biodun Zamuzan, her many years ago. And also, Aisha reacted. But now, this time, she said, We should not take all these things for granted. We should not sweep them under the carpet. That it's very important that we take actions against things like this that women are suffering in Africa. Yeah, men are suffering too. Because some of the boys and the men that inside the Coke bottle and Fanta bottle in one village, inside there, <laughs> and it is actually women that put them inside there. That's another sense of suffering. Maybe when men we start speaking up for things that we go through too, maybe there will be um, a fair judge. But there is no fairness to victimizing a girl or, or objectifying a girl. No, there is no fairness to it. But it's a two-way thing and we need to address it. When we're addressing A, we should also address B so that there will be balance, equilibrium, and equity. 
you know, he who goes to justice goes, he who goes to go, um, equity goes with clean hands. Uh, he goes to justice goes with anyone it is, but I know there is a clean hand inside it. <laughs> it is a proverb. So, what do you think? My name is Donald. This is Multiplicate the Subscribe button and the notification button. So, when you post a video, you'll be the first to get a lot. Turn on our Facebook page, please hit the like button. And the